Visiting Hour by Norman McCaig. The hospital smell combs my nostrils as they go bobbing along green and yellow corridors. What seems a corpse is trundled into a lift and vanishes heavenwards. I will not feel. I will not feel until I have to. Nurses walk lightly, swiftly, here and up and down and there their slender waist miraculously, carrying their burden of so much pain, so many deaths, their eyes still clear after so many farewells. Ward 7. She lies in a white cave of forgetfulness. A withered hand trembles on its stalk. Eyes move behind eyelids too heavy to raise into an arm wasted of colour. A glass fang is fixed, not gustling but giving. And between her and me, distance shrinks, till there is none left but the distance of pain that neither she nor I can cross. She smiles a little at this black figure in her white cave, who clumsily rises in the round swimming waves of a bell and dizzily goes off, growing fainter, not smaller, leaving behind only books that will not be read and fruitless fruits 